Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that little demo I did. Um, I know you've seen this video or this guitar already in another video. I just posted and named that riff um, pretty recently where I use this. And for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a Sterling AX40. And it's basically the budget version of the Music Man, Ernie Ball Music Man Axis guitar. And I kind of fell in love with this design uh, a few years ago, maybe even earlier than that, and I just didn't realize it. Um, but in the early 90s, this model was kind of conceived and dreamt up to be Eddie Van Halen's signature guitar. Um, I don't know exactly when he... Um, went to Music Man. It was either like late 80s, early 90s, but this was the model that they came up with. 
and it wasn't even called the Axis back then. It was just called the Music Man, Eddie Van Halen, or EVH. As far as I know, I don't believe it was called the Axis until after he left. And his version was a little different. It had the uh, had the selector switch up here, and I, I believe it might have had a different uh, neck shape. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but I've been really, really interested in the Music Man Axis for... A very long time you know I mo most people know that I don't like tremolos at least on certain guitars for example like my strats I don't know if you can see it in the background um, I don't like tremolos on strats or at least the strats that I envision you know I have very specific ideas of what I want you know when I build up my jazz masters um, I don't picture those with tremolos I, I just I have a vision of those as hardtails you know but when I think of, you know, what is a good tremolo guitar, like what is a guitar that I just envision with a tremolo and that's it. And that's, that's this guitar. Um, I wanted something with a Floyd Rose or a Floyd Rose style bridge because, you know, if you're going to do something, you know, you might as well go all the way with it. You know, if, if I want a tremolo, I don't want there to be much of a chance of things slipping out of tune. I mean, that's... That's the problem with a lot of, um, you know, poorly set up bridges or just poorly manufactured bridges. Anytime I've ever had a tremolo on a Strat, um, I've never had very good luck with it. And what I do like with this Axis model is it's not a floating bridge. This bridge, when, when it's not in use, it sits flat against the body, which was a very big Van Halen thing. Um... As far as I know, all of his guitars were like that. He never had it so it was floating. Um, most guitars that you'll see with a Floyd Rose style bridge on it will have um, like a recessed cavity underneath the bridge so that if you wanted to, you could pull up on the bridge to raise the pitch of the notes that you're playing, or you can go down to lower them. Um, I like just going down on the pitch. I, I, I like the extra tuning stability of having it flush against the body it just has a better sound and it's just more reliable um so that being said you know i was very interested in a music man but you know for some reason music man doesn't really uh promote the axis model as much as they should um maybe that's just more of a recent thing but you know in, in the later in the earlier years you know, like the 90s, 2000s, whatever, you could find these guitars much more easily. They were in a lot more colors, had more options. And right now, they just don't have a lot of options like that. And you never really see them around. So, you know, anytime I would go to a shop, if they had Music Man guitars, they almost never had an Axis. And it never let me be able to it would never let me be able to play these guitars and try them out to see if I'd like them I was always stuck just kind of wondering you know so it just got me thinking one day recently you know I, I love my sterling um, sub bass you know whatever it is it's, it's the budget model of the stingray bass and I think that thing plays great you know it's it's one of the best budget instruments I've ever used and I thought you know I've played some other Sterling guitars and they've all been fantastic. So why not just take a chance and buy, you know, a new Sterling guitar. So when I went looking for them, I realized that at least right now, Sterling isn't making this model anymore. They're making a even more budgeted version of this that just has a simpler tremolo. Um, it doesn't have you know, like the nice colors, you can either get white or black. It doesn't look like a regular Sterling Axis. It looks very budget. And I was kind of bummed because I'd seen these, you know, in pictures everywhere and I hear really good things. So I found this used online uh, through Guitar Center and I took a chance on it knowing that, you know, if I didn't like it, um, I could always return it. You know, they don't have, um, or they do have a really good return policy so um, if I had to I would take advantage of that 
and you know, I gotta say, I, I love it. You know, I think it's a great guitar. I don't think it's gonna convert me 100% to, to playing like only Music Man. I, I do see that happen with a lot of people. Um, but this has really, really opened my eyes and, you know, proven that, you know, this model really works for me, you know, when I need that certain type of guitar. You know, there's gonna be plenty of instances where, you know, I want my Jazz Master or I want my 335 or my Strat, you know, but, you know, if I need a tremolo or I need something that just has a very specific rock kind of sound, this is really going to do the trick. Um, will I keep this guitar? I don't know. Um, I very well may return this and just say, you know, I want to go for the Music Man. I want to, you know, do it right and I want to get the, uh, the full-on experience. Um, that being said, this is one of the best budget, uh, best budget model guitars I've ever played. Um, the bridge, you know, it's not a proper Floyd Rose, but it's worked really, really well. Um, it's been super comfortable. The frets are great. You know, I have no issues with, you know, any sharp fret ends or anything like that. A lot of budget guitars have that problem. The pickups sound great for what they are. Um, I know the Sterling model, or there was a Sterling model that had um, better version, um, like the proper DiMarzio pickups that go in most Axis guitars um, in them, but this is not that model. Um, this just has like the cheaper, uh, cheaper equivalent. Um, but even they, they sound great. So I mean, I could totally make something like this work, you know, in in the right setting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's not much else to really say. I really think this is a cool guitar. Um, it's making me very interested in a full-on music man and um, I don't know we'll see that may happen um, either way you know hope you guys learned something about this guitar if you have any questions you know I'll, I'll try to answer them I mean I don't I don't know everything about these but it is really cool and I definitely suggest checking out sterling guitars maybe not just this model but you know all their models because um, they have a lot of great designs. I mean, I love the the St. Valentine, or no, St. Vincent. Um, I think there was another Valentine model, like uh, James Valentine or something. Um, the uh, the Albert Lee model looks really cool. The, the Stingray guitars look really cool. So definitely check them out if you're looking for something a little different and, you know, quality, you know, at an affordable price. You know, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. And, you know, I, I have nothing bad to say at all so thanks for watching and you know maybe you'll see more of this soon maybe you'll see a music man soon i don't know we'll see i'm pretty excited we'll see you later